Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg, and I plead, Lord, that you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, that you've given me to speak. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's turn. I uh, need to remind people that the rapture is oh so close. I'm not counting days anymore. Now I'm counting hours. We're that close. And I need to remind people that the rapture is not just for us, the faithful, but it's also for children below the age of accountability, for babies, for the unborn children still in their mother's womb. The Bible says about that day that it's it's a blessed day, but it also says that there'll be much weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth on that day. And I think part of that is to do to the fact that there will be so many children that will be missing and babies that will be missing and I had a dream that the rapture occurred and then parents they were frantic they were desperate and they were weeping and, and wailing and crying and calling out for their children their babies but they weren't they weren't to be found and they searched everywhere they searched under beds in closets they searched throughout the house looked in cupboards they looked everywhere and then they run outdoors thinking maybe they snuck out of the house and they they searched shrubbery and under cars and they were knocking on neighbors doors and they were just in a panic they were frantic crying crying and crying looking for their children but they were no more for God had taken them and that's how it's going to be Bobby and I we we pray we pray for each and every one of you if you hear my voice we pray for you I know time is so, so short. There's a, a lot of people. A lot of people. And there's a, a lot of very good videos, very convincing evidence that the rapture is going to be October 7th or October 8th. I am not calling a date. I am not calling a date. I learned my lesson the hard way. With the Revelation 12 sign. But that's what it was, it was just a sign. I think it was a sign that the time of sorrows had started. Now we're going to be moving from the time of sorrows into the tribulation. And the rapture takes place, and then the tribulation starts. And in the tribulation, there will be unspeakable horror. Unspeakable horror. And I know because I've seen it. And I would not want anyone to go through what I saw. So I beg you, if you're not saved, if your children are going to come up missing, why not, why not go with your children? Why not go where your babies are going to go? Because the only way, the only way to survive what's coming upon this dying world 
is to not be here. And that's why God is taking the children and the babies. Below the age of accountability. Now I know some people will ask me, well, what is the age of accountability? It, it's a subjective number. It's different for different children. I think it's below the age of the knowledge of sin. Bobby and I, we pray for each and every one of you. And if you're not saved, now is the time. Now is the time to humble yourself before God. To beg and plead and repent of all your sin. To beg and plead the blood of Jesus wash over you. Wash all your sin away. Wash you clean. Make you white as snow. Only the blood of Jesus can do that. Nothing else. Nothing else can do that. And then pray for Jesus to enter in, into your heart as your Lord and Savior. To give you a new heart. To lead you and guide you every step of the way. Because, beloved, we are, we are being called home. We are being called home. It seems that my dreams and my visions have stopped. And the time of warning is up. Now, judgment comes. And I know I don't want to be here for it. And I know you don't want to be here for it. So we pray that you're all rapture ready, prayed up, washed in the blood, born again. Because nothing else, nothing else can save you except for Jesus. So Bobby and I, we pray for each and every one of you. And for my water filters, I'm going to start mailing out 10 CDs for every water filter I mail out. And until I'm raptured or the Lord tells me to stop, I keep making water filters and I keep mailing them out. If you can't afford one, don't worry about it. Contact me and I'll, I'll, send, I'll send you a water filter. God bless you mightily. And now is not the time to deny Jesus in any way, any, sh any shape, any form, any fashion. And we should all carry our Bible with us. And we should all say the blessing over every meal. Now I know that some people have jobs where they can't have a Bible with them. But you can keep a Bible in your car. And say the blessing over every meal. God bless you. God keep you in yours and his loving arms, just like he held me. Bobby and I, we pray for each and every one of you. If you hear my voice, we pray for you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.